Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgos, Moon, Sun, and Rising. I do want to uh, wish you guys a very happy Hallow's Eve, happy Halloween. Uh, please be safe out there, uh, but try the best you can to enjoy yourself as well. Uh, so here we are doing the mid-month love readings. I do want to let you guys know uh, the way I will be uploading the videos from here on out is the videos that get the most views or the most comments is going to be the videos that go up as soon as possible. So just try to support your sign, my fellow Virgos. <laughs> All right, let's get into your reading. This is going to be for the mid-month of October 2017 regarding your love life. Spirit, what are the messages for Virgos? What are the messages for Virgos? regarding their love life for the mid-month of October 2017. Also, if you're trying to get a private consultation, please look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. All right, so you have a card popping out already, Virgo. This is um, the Hierophant for your cards. All right, so let me... You have the Hierophant, the Two of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Partners cards is the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Magician card, and the Fool card. Let me pull out one more card for your current situation. Spirit, what is the current situation for Virgos for the mid month of October 2017 regarding their love lives? Alright, and your general or current situation, I should say, is the Ace of Swords. Alright, so the Ace of Swords definitely talks about a need for clarity, a need to speak up, or a need of insight. Um, for a lot of you guys, uh, you guys feel uncertain or have been feeling uncertain in regards to your love life, whether it's those of you guys that are single or whether it's those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship. There's definitely a need for truthfulness and truthfulness coming out in the most harshest of ways. Uh, the Ace of Swords is definitely a beautiful card. I love this card because it symbolizes the truthfulness even when it hurts. Uh, some people don't like to take that <laughs> or don't take it very kindly but it's always better to hear things for what they really are than for people to be sweet regarding the truthfulness and hiding what really is going on so again as a current situation the ace of swords there is a need for someone to speak up or be honest about a situation so this could be your energy um, Virgo or it could be the energy of your partner now the cards that are symbolizing you at the present time you have the Hierophant here. So this is you wanting or desiring to have a commitment. Uh, the Hierophant is definitely talking about um, everything that has to do with uh, history, everything that has to do with old school relationships, courtships, uh, dating, and marriage, obviously. Um, this is what's really on your mind at the present time. Uh, so it could mean one of two things. It could be that you're in denial at the present time in regards to your relationship, or it could represent, for those of you guys that are single, this is really what your innate desire is to manifest a long-term commitment. Now, you do have the Two of Swords here, and the Two of Swords is definitely, these are your cards, Virgo, so this is how you're seeing your partner. So you may be dealing with a air sign, so an air sign would be an Aquarius, um, a Libra, or a Gemini. For others, you may be dealing with the water sign, which would be a uh, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And for others, you may be dealing with an earth sign. So it would be a uh, Capricorn, a Taurus, or Virgo like yourself. Okay? Now, the Two of Swords is definitely talking about having to make a choice. Uh, for those of you guys that are single, you're wanting to manifest a long-term type of relationship or something long-lasting, but you're being stuck. So what I mean by that is you guys are stuck in your comfort zone. So for a lot of you guys, either you are kind of hoping that the partner or the relationship is just going to come knocking in your door and the cards are telling you, no, 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 you need to step out of your comfort zone. You need to expose yourself, put yourself out there, be social, uh, do something different out of the ordinary that you do on an everyday basis. Uh, the Two of Swords definitely talks about... Um, stubbornness even so for some of you guys even though it speaks about stubbornness I feel that more so than stubbornness it's like you guys are 
uh, just like depicted in the picture, you are just um, crossing your arms, protecting your heart. But at the same time, it's like you're protecting your heart, but I see you guys walking with the swords. So it's almost like you don't see things for what they really are. And even though you feel like, you know, I want to move forward or I want to, um, you know, meet a person that's right for me, et cetera, et cetera. What is it that you're doing? What is it that you're actually doing uh, to find or to put yourself out there uh, to meet new people? And more than likely, you guys are just being at home, not really doing much uh, because the two of swords definitely represents to me being stuck, but it's being stuck out of fear. Um, if you can see here, she's blindfolded, but she's still free. She's still able to move. She's still able to turn, uh, you know. So again, this is more of a mental type of energy. And it's like you feel stuck, um, perhaps a feeling like you are single or you're not meeting anyone. But in reality, you have no one else to blame but yourself because you're not really doing anything that gets you out of your comfort zone that would expose you to new people or a different type of people than what you're used to. Now, you do have the Four of Cups here, and the Four of Cups speaks to me a lot about uh, missing an opportunity, but more than missing an opportunity, uh, the Four of Cups can represent an opportunity that is being given to you in regards to love uh, or that you recently find out someone is interested in you, but it's like you're not interested. Uh, the Four of Cups depicts, you know, um, universe giving you a cup but you know you're not really focused on that cup you're not really focused on you're not interested in what the universe is giving to you so this could represent either you recently found out that someone's interested in you and you're not really attracted to them but they are definitely trying the best they can to get your attention because this page of cups definitely speaks about uh love messages or uh an offer coming through for you guys okay now I do want to mention for those of you guys that are in a serious committed relationship um, with this hierophant here it's like for some of you guys perhaps you guys were dealing uh, for those of you guys that are married or have been dealing with someone for a long time uh, the hierophant is the initial stages of wanting to take it to the next level and again desiring or hoping for a long-term commitment or marriage but something happened where uh there there it kind of plateaued your relationship kind of plateaued and at the present time the way you're viewing the situation is you kind of lost interest in this relationship you've kind of either not sexually connected to them anymore or you're not emotionally attached to each other no longer. It's like the communication hasn't been there for quite a while. Now the Page of Cups here, this could be you, uh, Virgo, uh, taking on the qualities of a flirtatious type of energy. So again, I feel that there is lack of intensity in your relationship. A lot of the times relationships can plateau when one or the other is very comfortable and you guys are not really trying to seduce each other. Uh, it could be, you know, having to do with routine. It can have to do with um, just the years, you know, as years go by. But ultimately, uh, in, you know, it takes two people to make a relationship work. And just like it takes two people, it takes two people to spice it up as well. So I'd rather you guys put the effort in your relationship and try to spice things up versus being you being the one to step out of the relationship if you know what i mean wink wink so anyways how your partner's viewing the situation at the present time the six of pentacles there's a need of giving and taking so someone in the relationship is either giving too much or taking too much um and this is how your partner's viewing you at the present time so perhaps it's a you virgo uh that is actually doing all the taking like they're the ones that have to put the effort to seduce you they're the ones that have to uh, take, you know, take it upon themselves to actually put the effort uh, in chasing you. And at the end of the day, in order for it to be fresh and new, uh, we have to kind of change roles. I hope you guys understand that. So the Eight of Cups, they're still wanting to put effort in this relationship. Um, but I feel that at this present time, there is a need or a focus so someone's not focused in the relationship it could be the fact that either your partner's working long hours or it could be that you Virgo have been working 
um, nonstop because the Eight of Pentacles definitely does speak about uh, putting, you know, your nose to the grindstone and actually focused on trying to achieve something. Or it could be the fact that if you're uh, in the opposite spectrum and you're the one that's been without a job for a while, maybe that could be the reason why it's kind of turning off your partner now. It's like this person can't provide for themselves. I'm not going to be their savior type of energy. So you guys need to be careful with that Virgos, okay? Now, they do have the Magician card here, and the Magician card speaks about having all the elements or having uh, basically the fundamental tools to make the relationship work or put effort into the relationship. But again, like I said, um, just like they're willing to put the effort, or if it's you, the one that's been putting too much effort, um, uh, Virgo, you need, you need to really concentrate on valuing yourself okay and the reason I say that is if you're not happy in the relationship that you're in based on the cards of this person they're more positive than the cards you have up here so for a lot of you Virgos I see that you guys are basically struggling in this relationship you've been in either you guys have plateaued or you guys completely just don't have a sex life period which again that's not a good thing um Again, for some of you guys, it could be that you guys actually step out of the relationship because right under the page of cups, you have the full card. So the full card definitely speaks about a new beginning or some or uh, a new energy coming into your life. And with the page of cups, there's definitely a sexual type of energy here. So again, um, try the best you can. If you're not happy, be honest with each other and, you know, cut the cords. And if this is having to do with the fact that it's you the one that takes it up upon themselves to spice up the relationship uh, for those of you guys that have been married for a long time I definitely do see a renewal of energies in this relationship probably by the first week of November now the magician again like I said I whoops I feel that for some of you guys um, the four of cups is crowning the magician so understand and know for those of you guys that are single Understand and know that a lot of the times um, we may not be uh, very quickly attracted or be pulled towards a person, but try the best you can not to judge them harshly. The reason I say that is because a lot of the times universe knows better than we do and they will bring our universe will bring to us the person that, you know, is right for us, not the person we want, but the person we need and the magician. Again, there is a promise of having all the elements of fulfillment but it's like you're not wanting to take that opportunity. So Virgos, be very careful not to miss opportunities um, and to make the best of the new things that are coming in. I definitely do see new energies coming towards you guys. So I can say by the end of the month of October, going into the first week of September, I'm sorry, of November, I definitely do see new beginnings for you guys because you do have the magician here and the full card. Um, the magician is being able to manifest you know that long-term relationship you've been wanting and craving and the magician is finally here to give that to you so you can start new or so you can start fresh okay so i hope this resonates with you guys uh comment like and share the videos if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe again like i said uh the more views uh or the more um comments that a video gets that's going to be the first videos to come up next month okay so happy hallows eve happy halloween for all of you guys and enjoy 